This might be me being a little superficial because I'm an action anime junkie, but this was the best fucking episode of Mob Psycho 100. Get ready to pick your jaws up off the floor because this was a jam-packed action episode of Mob Psycho 100, which is building up to the big major conflict of the entire season. Mob versus Suzuki, the leader of Claw. But before we get to that, we are just going to have to sit through what might be one of the best action anime episodes I have ever seen. So I'm going to go ahead and put up the spoiler warning right now. If you haven't watched this episode, go check it out and get right back to this review. So let's go ahead and get right to it. This episode was mind-blowingly awesome. Just 20 minutes of extreme raw action and doing it in a great, unpretentious way and even holding back on a little bit of the comedy to emphasize that things have officially gotten very serious but still ending with a scene which managed to make me laugh. This entire episode was basically just Mob and his friends battling against the strongest members of Claw, and there were twists, there were turns, there were surprises, and I couldn't predict anything that could have possibly happened. This is a really hard review to do, as the action was so intense and crazy that just describing it is honestly going to be boring for you guys. Really, you just need to go and check it out. What's really great about this episode, though, is that just about every single character got to do something amazing, and most importantly, Mob didn't overshadow any of them. Every single character got to do something cool, and I could just really just gush about all of these moments. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now. I think one of the most impressive things about this episode is indeed the fact that the characters managed to team up in the middle of nowhere without really coming up with any sort of crazy plan, and they still managed to work so well together. I think the most impressive battle was against Shimazaki, the guy who can sort of teleport all over the place. It took most of the major characters of the series to even stand a chance against this guy, and even when it seemed like they actually had an opportunity to win, he still managed to use a brand new ability known as the Mind's Eye, which essentially allowed him to take out everybody in just the actual blink of an eye. He can really sense where everyone is going to attack from, and it made the battle against him just one of the most destructive and crazy things that I've actually seen from the entire show. Ritsu is actually going to be joining up with a lot of the other psychics and the former members of Scar in this episode, and even Teruki himself who battles against him, who actually manages to analyze his abilities, even finding some weaknesses in his fighting style, but even still, they still cannot manage to stop this guy. You also have Sho, who's desperately trying to make his way to the top of the tower to battle against his father, who again, is nigh indestructible. He has barriers that you simply cannot break through, and power that borderline is like that of a god. Especially because Sho reveals that he has the ability to basically build up his psychic power over a short amount of time. To him, that's three months. His father has been building it up for 20 years straight, and he's about to demonstrate it for the very first time in the series. He's so confident in his amazing psychic powers, that's why he actually decided to declare war on the world itself. He's never met anyone as strong as he is. And even with that, there's still like a million more amazing scenes from this episode. But like I said, one of the biggest surprises here was just getting to see all of these characters actually team up. And for me, the best fights of this episode were against Shimazaki and Minagishi. Minagishi having the ability to psychically control plants. And he battles against Mob initially. And it's just so fucking cool in every single way. That the way that the plants are actually animated, whether it's the vines extending up into the sky, them transforming into Venus flytraps, breaking through all of these attacks with his psychic power, flying all over the city, crashing through buildings, the fighting choreography was top fucking notch. We even got to see the return of Matsuo finally, who made a smaller appearance midway through this season, but here he comes back to use his signature ability of being able to summon all sorts of crazy monsters, and there's a scene where one of the goons of the leader of Claw decides to take that small bottle that actually contains Mogami, and he releases him, and this scene itself was one of the most ominous of the entire episode. Episodes, is that's a character I really didn't think was actually going to return, and he's just as destructive and insane as he was in that episode, to the point where even Mob himself is a little worried that he's been let out of his bottle. He's so powerful, in fact, that he takes control of Minigishi's plants and transforms into, like, a giant plant elemental, almost crushing him in his arms. It's not until Mob actually decides to talk him down that he actually just sort of disappears out of nowhere. 
Mob was actually able to finally talk this guy down, but it's also because Mogami has probably been heavily influenced by Mob at this point in the series. It's a super powerful moment, which actually blew me away, but like I said, again, it's the visuals which absolutely sell this scene. The moment where Ritsu and Teruki and the other former members of uh, Scar are actually fighting back against Shimazaki too, like, just... This is one of the greatest action sequences I've ever seen of watching these characters just fly around the city, plow through buildings. It's done with so much gusto that it feels kind of like watching like a live action Marvel movie, only better in so many senses as each single character has so many signature abilities and watching them bounce around with each other, dodging his attacks and even managing to get the upper hand on him was just beyond satisfying. I especially love the scene where Teruki and Shimazaki were flying around in the air and he finally uh, analyzed his abilities to the point where he ended up just like slamming him into the ground like a freaking Dragon Ball Z character. It's just the best action that I've really seen from the show. And even when Shimazaki looks like he was finally about to win, suddenly Mob appears from nowhere, actually intimidating him quite a bit, and it looked like they were finally going to have an epic battle, when suddenly my expectations were subverted. When Reagan just appears from out of nowhere, randomly punching Shimazaki, which is, I have to admit, kind of a deflating moment, as I was really hoping that there was going to be an epic battle between him and Mob, but it was so funny to see Reagan actually take down one of these super strong characters, and that's owed to the fact that he's a bullshit esper, he's a bullshitter, and there's no way that he could have possibly believed that he actually had the ability to get the, the slip on him. He thought he was some super-powered esper that's able to suppress his abilities. But no, it's mostly a scene that's played for laughs, and I have to say, in an episode which is filled to the brim with action, honestly, I kind of liked it. It was a really satisfying moment, and reminded me again that yes, while the series can have some very impressive action scenes, it still manages to have a good time and have a good sense of humor about things. As well as again showing us that Mob has grown tremendously as a character, especially at the end, actually realizing that his power is so destructive that he's not going to be able to properly fight with everyone. If he's going to have to take down the leader of Claw, he's going to have to do it himself, and he reluctantly goes alone to try and fight him. Of course, with Dimple joining him. And there is a post credit scene, so make sure to check that out, where it looks like he's getting ready to go up against Sarah Rizawa, the Umbrella Man, which I have a feeling is going to be sort of like the Penu Ultimate fight before the major final confrontation of the series, and man, if it's anything like this episode, if it's half as good as this episode, I'm already sold. So... What's the rundown on this episode of Mob Psycho 100? I now know why the first half of the season was holding back. They were waiting for this major confrontation. They were waiting to surprise everyone with action that we couldn't possibly have predicted how awesome it was going to be. I have to give so much credit to the animation team and the artwork of this episode as they truly worked their asses off and it paid off perfectly. I can say without a shadow of a doubt of all of the action shows that I'm actually watching this season, this was the best episode thus far. It just blew me away with its extreme quality, and it bears rewatching multiple times to see all of the small moments and see every character do something that is immensely satisfying. Again, this is one of those reviews that's kind of hard to do because it's just a giant action scene. You have to see it for yourself. There were twists, there were turns, and again, one of the best things about this entire series is that while the battles themselves could get kind of boring because everybody's a psychic, Every psychic has a very signature ability, and they're all on display in this episode in a giant blaze of extreme glory. Like I said, I cannot recommend this episode enough. I, I just want to rewatch it right now, to be perfectly honest. I'm giving the episode a 5 out of 5. I'd love to get any of your thoughts about the episode. You can tell me all of them in the comment section below. What did you think about the amazing action in this episode? Did you have any favorite moments, favorite character moments? What did you think about the return of Mogami, even though it was short-lived? Did you have a favorite battle? And how is Mob going to stop the leader of Claw? Let's just get a discussion going in the comment section, guys. I will see you all next time and as always stay down there baby <laughs>